Hello everybody. I know it's been a really long time, but we're back. Anyway, a couple days ago, we got these new, well, they're not new, of course, but they're new to us, these cupboards and counters. So we clean them up really good and we put them right over there and the air fryer is on there and the dust buster's on there. And all that canned food goes underneath. We don't have it all there yet, but we will. And this drawer doesn't work, but that one does, so it's the junk drawer now. But it's nice to have more counter space and more cupboard space. And there are more out in the camper because Don installed some new cupboards and counters for somebody and they gave him the old ones. So rather than throwing them in, in the dump and filling the landfill, we are recycling them. And these big boxes just came by UPS and they're really heavy. And it's one item. It classifies as a futon, but it's actually a big gray couch. And these are all the parts and it has to be put together. And it came from the, as you can see, it's upside down, but the Walmart Spark Reviewer program. So we didn't even have to pay for it, but we got some new furniture. So that's cool. And it'll be going in the living room and we will be doing some rearranging and we will get rid of the one recliner that is, the springs are broken in and Smokey tore all apart. So I got this adult coloring book from Dollar General the other day. It was only $3. And it has all these cool things in it. I like doing these once in a while. I use it as a way to practice my shading. I have a few other ones of these, but they got put in a storage tub and buried, so I'm not going to try to dig them out right now. And this was the first one I did. It's a combination of Prismacolor colored pencils, Prismacolor markers, some Crayola markers, and some glitter markers there on the feathers you can kind of see the glitter and then a little bit of white acrylic paint I think it came out pretty good and then we went to Gaylord a few days ago to do food shopping at Meyer, and I found this little baby dragon in Hobby Lobby <clears throat> because I was looking for some things I need for ceramics and for some transfer paper for paintings like that one I did of the cat for the RFS Dan art night thing. It's pretty cool, and pretty cute. So since all my animals got smashed, I put this on the shelf the animals used to be on. And when we were on Mackin Island, I stopped at Dowd's Market, which is the oldest grocery store in America. Google it. I'm not making that up. It was established in 1884 and has been opened, see, America's oldest grocery store. It's been open ever since then. And yes, it's a real store that sells real food and other real items with a deli and everything. But people were posting pictures of these on the Addicted to Mackinac Island Facebook group. And I thought they looked really cool. So when we went there, I found one. They didn't have many left. So I got one just in time but it's actually soft. And the tag, which I took off the bottom, said it was a wine glass. So a soft, squishy wine glass, even though I don't drink wine. So far I have only put chocolate almond milk in it. And the other thing I got was two of these from the Mackin Island bookstore. And I didn't even notice till I got home that it actually had a penny in it. And as I was, we were going around the island, I was collecting all the pennies from all the machines. I don't know how well you guys can see them on the camera, but it's a lot of the bridge and horses and the Grand Hotel and the fort and carriages and bikes. And there were two machines I wasn't able to get because they were in completely different parts of the island that would have taken a very long time to walk to, but I'll get them next time. Oh, these two are not from the island. This one is from Indian River. I just got it the other day, and this one was from the uh, 
Penny Pale's Press Penny Exchange, Jamestown. But the rest of the, oh, not these either. These are from the Cincinnati Zoo. These are also from that Penny Exchange. But from here over are all the pennies I got on the island that day. And this is an extra of the Indian River one for the next penny exchange. I already sent one out for this month's months, so this will be next month's. But that's a pretty nice one, and I like how it's different than the one, the other one I have. And when I was getting the penny, I got this bracelet from the trade uh, Indian River Trading Post. It is a tiny, tiny tree made out of. Looks like copper, maybe some kind of gold dust. I doubt it's real gold. And tiny, tiny white, uh, blue stones in resin. And it's really pretty. I took it off to take a shower, and it has a weird clasp on it that Don has to help me with. So when he gets home from work, he will help me put it on, back on. But it's really nice. And this is another collection I have slowly been working on. Ever since they started re-releasing these, these are the originals from the 80s, but these are re-releases. They look the same. This is Lickety Split, but they are not old with faded pink hair and stains all over them, like most of the ones from the originals from the 80s have. And this is Tootsie. This is Sparkler, and this is Surprise. And if any of you who watched this liked that, sh that cartoon called My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, this is who Pinkie Pie was modeled after. But apparently there were copyright problems because Lauren F Faust could not actually make her Pinkie Pie, so she had, I mean, Surprise. So she had to make her into Pinkie Pie and change her, but her attitude is the same. And you know, parties, party, party, party. And this is Posey. Like I said, the, the originals from the 80s of these have white hair now because they faded really bad. And the ones I have that have this color, I have them in the china cabinet over there, over there. And I keep the curtains closed, so the, I don't know if the, this, will fade too, it might, so we don't want that. And this is Cherry's Jubilee and Medley. I know their hair is pretty ratty, that's because I did not get it wet and smooth it down after I took them out of the packages, but I will eventually. And Gusty, and she's nice and white, which any of the white ones from the 80s are not really white anymore, and I will go show you more on that in a minute here. And this is Heartthrob. So these are the re-releases. This is Magic Star. She is a so soft pony. She stands up like this. And she is an original from the 80s who I bought from my good friend who I have known pretty much since the dawn of the internet. And she shipped her to me. She's one of the ones I had as a kid and I really liked and I wanted her back. She's in really good shape for the so softs because a lot of them the flocking just wore right off and then this is moon dancer and this is an original from the 80s you can see a lot of wear on the symbol not too bad though because the original that i had of this when i was a kid this was the second my little pony i ever got when i was eight years old her symbol just completely wore off 100 percent and i brushed her tail so much that there ended up being nothing but three little strands hanging there all stretched out so I actually got this way back in 2011 or 2012 at maybe 2013 I'm not sure but a long time ago at something in Alpena at the Alpena mall called Alpena con and I don't think that convention exists anymore so a guy at a table was selling it I paid seven bucks for it which, considering it isn't in perfect shape, that was kind of too expensive, but whatever. That was many years ago. And now what I was talking about with the whites is this. This is usually how 
original white ones from the 80s look. Sometimes they're so bad they're completely yellow. Any white My Little Pony they ever made. And this is what they look like now because they're brand new and fresh. And it's really nice to have nice, good, clean ones. And I keep them shut in that cabinet on display and nobody messes with them. So they will stay nice like this. I know there are people here who don't care, give a flying crap about toys, but it's one of the things I collect, so I thought I would let you guys know. I haven't bought any in months. They were at Meyer and now they're not, so. Um, I don't know if I'll even get any more. And I'm not one of those people who wants to get every single My Little Pony they ever made because I don't have room for that kind of crap. And I don't like them all either. I only get the ones I like. And when I was a kid, in my original collection, I had this one. I had this one. I, yeah, I think I had this one. I definitely had this one. And I had this one. And this one. But I did not have any of these. So this is the first time I've had this bunch right here. So, if don't worry, I, this is not going to become a My Little Pony channel. I'm not going to talk about these unless I get any more. And I don't know if I will or not. But I wanted to update you guys so far on what I have. home from work and he's going to put this big futon couch together so good luck yeah but it's gonna go right here like this yeah, only big. yeah well, you're gonna get to use it too I hope so too not something that takes half the night to do the instructions are supposed to be in, in one of these boxes. Yeah. Hopefully you didn't go and come out to do like that covered job that was painting the rear end. Yeah. So it says box one of two box. and box two of two. So maybe that's the order you're supposed to open them in. I don't know. I don't know. Well, or maybe it doesn't matter. I don't think it really matters. Uh, well, this is the heaviest box, so that's, I'm going to assume that's the one that we're going to want to start off with. Yeah. The bigger, heavier box. Well, whichever box has the instructions. <laughs> I'm hoping it's this one. Yeah. That's the bigger, heavier box. Yeah. And that's one we're going to try and start off with. Yep. And so. We'll figure it out from there. Yep. Good luck. Yeah. I'm going to eat my sandwich now. Eat your sandwich? Yeah, I made a sandwich. Sandwich? With this new Jerry Garcia sauce I found. Let's see Jerry if it's Garcia good. Jerry Garcia sauce? Yeah, from the Grateful Dead. Found it at Meyer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, you did go pretty crazy on buying a bunch of different sauces. I had to for the shrimp that I recipe I'm making tonight in the air fryer. They needed to marinate in two different kinds of sauce. But that's all right that you bought a bunch of different kinds. Yeah, we need them. Yeah. And this is the sauce I'm talking about. It says it's for pretty much everything. So I put it on a sandwich and we'll see. We'll see if it's good or not. He has everything out of the box. I see a lot of it was already put together. He doesn't put have to put it together piece by piece and screw by screw, luckily. It said easy assembly on the description page. 
Does it look like it'll be bad? Oh, oh yeah. Not looking too bad. Too better. Yeah, a lot of it's already put together. And he did find the instructions, so. They're in there. Okay, it's done. And it's in its spot. We rearranged a little bit. And we got rid of that recliner that Smokey tore up and the springs were broken in. So it's really nice, definitely big. It'll be really comfortable and it's really uh, soft and velvety. So it's nice. It's funny that they would give these away in just in exchange for a review. They cost $447 on walmart.com before tax. So that definitely makes being in the Walmart Spark Reviewer program worth it, right? Yeah. Thanks for putting it together. You think so? Yeah. See that? What, your head? Yeah, wet. Oh, yuck. Well, you have to take a shower. That means that was my hard work right there. Yeah, well, thank you. I put my foot into that. Dinner tonight is a shrimp recipe. I made air fryer shrimp. And the shrimp was marinated in this and this for like three or four hours. And we're also trying these for the very first time. Chickpeas, they definitely smell very good. In a tomato and olive oil sauce with Tucson style herbs or Tuscan, whatever that is. And Don's is over here and we're having cottage cheese too. So dinner will be really good. So dinner was really good. I will definitely make that again. We have another bag of shrimp in the freezer. And the bean, uh, chickpeas, garbanzo beans are also called, were very good, so we will keep getting those. And before I forget, the Jerry's Cosmic Sauce, Jerry Garcia sauce, is also very good. It has a little bit of a kick to it. It would be good for burgers or marinade or anything. What's the matter with you? You're not going outside. Because you, you run away and you proved it. Because you got out the window and disappeared overnight. So no outside for you. So what did you think of dinner? Pretty good. And yes, we did move the table. It was over there. But it was too hard to get into that to that counter. So now it's this way. And the rest of the cats are outside, because that's where they love to be. But mainly they lay around on the deck, so that's fine. But we're going to go ahead and say goodnight, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Say goodnight. Say good morning. And we'll see you next time.